NXT versus TNA, the crossover. If you believe everything you read, you would know that NXT and TNA could be working together a lot in the near future. Of course, Jordan Grace is appearing in WWE on NXT Battleground, challenging for the NXT Women's Championship against champion Roxanne Perez while currently holding the Knockouts Championship. Well, with that match happening and with a lot of buzz and excitement, NXT and myself are looking forward to that match, but uh, we're looking forward to this video just as much because we're going to speculate some people we would like to see crossover from NXT to TNA and from TNA to NXT. Uh, NXT, welcome to the show. How are you doing, my friend? Very good, my friend. This was harder than I was expecting it to be, but I'm expecting to have some fun with my answers. I think so, indeed. So what we're going to do in the video, we're going to go with three picks each. Um, that's how we're going to do it for each show of people switching stuff from TNA to NXT and NXT to TNA. So who will be your first one, NXT, then, from TNA to NXT? Uh, for me, it's going to be ABC, just because we get the real Bullet Club in WWE, finally. Just get them in there put Gallows and Anderson with them. We get real Bullet Club, get the Prince back in NXT. You know what I mean? We just, we, Bullet Club will be whole again. I would love that. And to be honest, it's one of my answers as well. Um, I, it's a shame that we, one of our is matching straight at the beginning of the video. I'm sure we have differences of opinion as we go along, but ABC would be great because Ace Austin and Chris Bay have been doing some amazing work uh, in TNA, obviously been tag team champions. I've had some killer matches over there. And I do think that the NXT tag team division is a bit, bit, way for thin at the moment i feel that actually we could do with a bit of star power being brought over because axiom and fraser once they beat the good brothers in my opinion at the next battleground show i'm not sure who they go against next i don't think it's an easy path so to bring abc over i think would make a lot of sense for me uh but uh, is there anything you'd like to add or are you ready to go with your second pick uh, I'd go with Speedball Mike Bailey. I think that the guy has five-star matches for fun. If you've seen him wrestle at all with Will Spray, do bring some of that talent to NXT and just have some absolutely killer quality matches on NXT TV. Would just be awesome to see. He's just an exciting talent to watch. And I really think like if you put him in that mid-card scene, he can help raise the level of a lot of stars in NXT. Yeah, I think so as well. I, tell you, I was very close to putting him on my list. He was like literally the cutoff point. I was so close to it, but I can see the reasons why because uh, one of my favorites to watch in TNA, I'm not going to lie to you, like you say, performance-wise, he's absolutely incredible. There's not a bad match that comes out of Speedball Mike Bailey. Uh, and I think to put him in the NXT environment with some of the proper talents over there, I think there's some great matches that could be had. Um, I think it's an excellent selection indeed. I'm going to go for my second selection. And uh, for me, it's got to be the walking weapon, Josh alexander uh for me just is one of the top 10 wrestlers in the world i think in ring is absolutely incredible uh, i think to be him brought over to nxt uh, to go for the nxt championship i honestly feel like that could be someone that could take the title and take it back to tna i think he's that darn good uh the fact as well even page is currently now in nxt as well you can revisit them are they a team as the north are are they actually going to be rivals i think there's a lot of things you could do there could be a lot of fun with josh alexander not forget as well the heritage cup which i think would be something that would suit him down to an absolute t with the way that he wrestles in the ring the is a great shout but that's why i went with speed with mike bailey because i want someone for the mid card team because my third pick steve is moose because this guy has evaded aew he has evaded wwe for the longest time Moose is my guy that I want to bring in for that world title scene. That guy deserves to get some find some credibility and some massive numbers on him just so people can see what the hype has been about him for the last, I don't know, 10 years. That guy has been rumored with leaving TNA to come to another company or a New Japan or a WWE or someone else. But yeah, I would bring Moose in for that world title scene. Oh, I'd be brilliant to see Moose in there. I mean, Moose is arguably Mr. Impact or Mr. TNA. Obviously, he's been in the company since, what, 2016, I want to say. He's been there for a long time, always been loyal to the company. Uh, and he's obviously got the rewards as well, being a world champion as well. And I think he would be excellent. I'd love to see Moose versus Trick Williams. I think champion versus champion would be an exciting prospect, a great match to see. Uh, I think it would be an epic encounter. But for my third selection, uh, I'm actually going to dive into the women's division. And I'm going to go... 
uh, with the flamboyant one herself, Giselle Shaw, I would like to see come over to NXT, bring that flamboyance with her into the NXT division. I think that her profile, her stock has been raising. It's been improving uh, with the time that she's been spending in TNA. I think that uh, I'm surprised that she, she's not been a knockouts champion yet, to be honest. But I think if she was to come over to NXT, I think there's some great people she could feud with. There's now multiple championships she could go for as well, not just the NXT Women's Championship, but obviously the new North American title that's been brought in as well. Uh, there's plenty of emerging talents for her to work with as well. You know, to look at the likes of a perhaps a Sol Ruka or a Kalani Jordan. You know, there's there's people that she can work with on on Fear How as well. Great characters on the face side. Uh, you know, so for me, I think she'd be a great asset to, if she was to come over from TNA uh, to NXT for a couple of showings. Yeah, it's a great shout. It's just with me. I think that the women's division has a load of established stars in NXT at the minute. And so uh, for me, this is why I was big guys over because at the minute it just feels like there's, there's no natural challenger for Trip Williams past uh, Battleground. So it's kind of like just bring some guys in to try and establish some of the guys on the roster. Absolutely, indeed, they're totally. Well, I'll tell you what, we've then gone with free from TNA to NXT. We need to do free from NXT to TNA. So, uh, NXT, let's go with your first choice. My first choice, and I know this is going to sound harsh, but it's actually Chase U. They're, I think that if you were to take a group as well known as Chase U and move them over to TNA, you can do a lot with them. For instance, Thea Hale can finally be possibly pushed as a women's champion. Um, something that I, I just at the minute she's not getting in NXT, and I would really like to see her elevate herself. And I thought if she would, if they were to go to NXT, she could get a run as a uh, women's champion. Um, Duke Hudson. As much as I like him, I, I really wish he would go back to the old Duke Hudson, like the guy that was the casino, the, the poker player, all this kind of stuff. But I think if you just bring them three over, him, or Riley Osborne, Andre Chase, uh, the guys there, they could just, they're an established name and they could just bring eyes to the product just because they've got a following that can bring eyes over. I like it as well with the wacky characters they all present as well. They are for something that would do well with the TNA family, which is a lot of characters in amongst that uh, division. Uh, you mentioned Fear Hell, for example. Obviously, I just think for her age, she's exceptional with her character work. I think that uh, she's got a lot of personality. She's got a real upside as well. The in-ring work is improving as well. I think she's she's destined to be a star one day. Andre Chase as well with uh, the way he is. You know, he's always a swear word or two away, but I think, you know, that, that, that can fly uh, with a TNA audience as well. So I think it's good yeah. there. You mentioned Riley Osborne, a good sort of high flyer as well for the X Division. Duke Hudson as well for stuff there as well, being a big man. Would you bring in Rich Holland as well? Uh, dude, why not? I mean, he's an established name as well. It's just another name to add to the, the roster. It, do you know what I mean? It's someone else to essentially give their different options like and obviously if you're bringing making them a five piece you've got options for like you said x division world championship tag team titles women's titles so you've got something for essentially every division by sending this team over absolutely indeed yeah i really like that suggestion there of chase you i think it could be a lot of fun uh, my first one look, he's been there before but i'm gonna bring him back over because well he's changed name and uh, he's been away from his his partners of course i'm talking about none other than wesley of course was formerly known as desmond xavier of course in uh impact wrestling back in the day with the group known as the rascals uh i think it'd be a lot of fun if you put them back together because of course it's brotherhood with zachary wentz of course who was uh nash Carter, of course in wwe uh trey miguel of course as well is there but uh trey and zachary right now are heels and wesley is a baby face so i'd like to see how the dynamic would play out now would it actually be all happy families or would actually uh trey we go and zachary wentz not be happy with the fact that wesley's not willing to take the shortcuts well, the impression I get is is that they have a third member now in Myron Reed. So, the, I mean, there could be like the tense, the tenseness there. That like I used to be a part of the Rascals. You're just someone who's trying to take my place in the Rascals. So, I like the idea of it. It has a a story, a lineage that they can play off of and relived. And but the fact that Wesley's had been able to raise his uh, his profile and like become like a an established mid card champion for NXT, I think would just do good things in general. If you put like some of those four guys in a ring, in some form or another, is going to be great. 
Yeah, absolutely indeed. And uh, you mentioned about Marlon Reed there. He's, he's actually a heck of a talent as well. I've seen a bit of his work. And uh, I've got to say, Wesley, if he was to come in as well, he could probably challenge for championships here as well. I think for the exhibition championship he could go for, he could even be worthy of going for the world championship against Moose. I wouldn't be against seeing that as a match there because Wesley's stock certainly has risen in NXT. I think he's improved leaps and bounds, not just in ring, but also on the mic work as well. So Wesley would definitely be a top choice for me to see go back to TNA. Uh, but who will be your second selection? Enix, Steve. Uh, this one is purely just because the, they seem to be quite favoured and I really want them to get some more screen time, maybe establish them more as a tag team. It's Hank and Tank. Hank Walker and Tank Ledger. Just do, they seem to be big on these guys. Just give them some more screen time. Send them over there. Let them have a run of, as tag team champions. Maybe just try and build them up because I think it's like I said a minute ago, that's the thing that NXT seems to be lacking is some, they're lacking everything really when it comes to men's divisions, they're lacking established tag teams, they're lacking main eventers and yeah, it's, it's it just hopefully give them some more screen time, just give them a run as champions. Yeah, do you know what? I think that's a really fun selection. I think my main reason thing is because I think this is what NXT or WWE would use this for i think that they would be more inclined to say right okay well you know these guys they're not quite established on our screens yet this would be something of a bit of a loan they'll they'll build the reputation a bit more being in tna going for uh matches over there they, they could actually go for an extended period it wouldn't have to be just like a match or two you could say right okay you can do three to six months down there come back and see what you've got then in nxt because you should hopefully have improved you'll get more chances and more opportunities and more talent to work because tna has a very talented roster that's you know been at a lot of the independent circuits ex wwe guys are there as well probably ex AEW as well so there's plenty of people that they could work with and i think that's what this is probably mostly designed for so i think it's actually a very clever selection uh my second selection is going to be gg dolan look you know zachary wentz's partner uh it's not too difficult to do i think she's backstage for a lot of the shows but she's got a war in wwe um i've not seen her on nxt tv for a while the last time she was there she was involved with a storyline with ariana grace and uh, grace was trying to make uh gg a bit more classy uh, that seems to drop like a bad habit because that storyline in my opinion wasn't working for starters but grace just seems to be doing her own thing without gg or even mentioning in recent weeks um i just think gg being in that environment i think would give her an opportunity to be gg again and i think we've kind of lost that in nxt in recent times i, I do miss uh, obviously the toxic attraction group there obviously understandably why manny rose is no longer there anymore probably not going to come back but i still would have kept the team with jc jane in nxt i just think they were stronger as a unit together um i think that they both I don't want to say struggled apart because JC Jane's done some good work, so has Gigi Dolan, but I just think they are still stronger as a unit, would have preferred them to be together. So in the meantime, as they're not and they're in a different direction, I think Gigi being uh, in the impact zone, I think would make a lot of sense. She could be someone that could go for the knockouts championship and she'd be a credible challenger for Jordan Grace as well. Uh, and she's probably quite familiar with a lot of that uh, TNA roster. Yeah, I 100% agree. It's, I'm, it was one of the names that I had thought of um yeah it's a great shout really. i don't know why i didn't honestly say gg done because you're right on everything the fact that like you said she hasn't been on tv for ages you kind of get the impression that she's not happy in nxt so going to tna might be a saving grace she spends more time with her partner which is obviously a big wwe thing where they keep partners together on shows if she's able to spend six months there have a decent run try and establish uh her name for herself before coming back up is a great shout have to see if it would ever happen but uh, who would be your last selection then oh my third and final choice just because these dudes seriously need some wins is gallus because dude they can't they cannot get a win for their lives like i i'm expecting joe coffee to be the uh, the full guy for the uh north american championship match on at battleground this weekend but i'm warning this is pre-taped before then so spoiler for anyone's watching it before uh, or afterwards but i uh, do you know what i mean they're just they're guys that need some wins they need to just turn their luck around and i think if you send the three of them back to tna they do they can really establish themselves again as a mean faction which do you know what I mean it's what they've been portrayed as the whole time on the indies and it just feels like ever since they got to NXT UK 
they were in a short run. I'm pretty sure they had a short run with the UK tag team titles, and that was it. And Joe Coffey was is the same. He's always just been treated as the full guy in a lot of matches. Like I'm pretty sure he's been in title matches with the likes of Walter and Pete Dunn, and he was just the third wheel, and he was kind of like just there to protect everyone else. So I really like to see these guys go and do something, can establish himself, and really make Gallus and put the Gallus boys back on top. Uh, it's an awesome selection. Uh, to be honest, I can't disagree with a lot you've just said there. I mean, if you look at with their WWE run, NXT UK, they felt like a big deal. They felt like they were important. But I think the second they've come up to NXT and gone in front of more of a, a worldwide audience, let's say, rather than a more domestic audience, I feel there's been a disconnect of people not really connecting with their characters, not connecting with them just in general. And I think that that's, that's not helped Gallus. Uh, they've been on and off our screens as well. And like you say, when they are on our screens, they were tag team champions yes but they they just they've not been picking up wins for a long time and they need they need to re-establish some dominance i think actually tna will be a good platform for the gallus crew actually because like you said that they would be treated like top guys over there um this this actually feels like a real sensible move and uh, they're established as well and that's the thing when sometimes you're established sometimes you just need to find that one thing that just makes it click and then everything else just falls into place and i think for gallus that could just be the move that could make things fall into place absolutely totally agree well i'm gonna go with my last one for you now and uh it's actually the d'angelo family i think the d'angelo family would be a lot of fun in the wacky world of tna obviously you've got the you know the forget about it the you know the the family the the stories the bada bing bada boom you know getting rid of people swimming with the fishes i think that could be a lot of fun i mean tna is a roster that usually kills characters off so i mean like it's not difficult to do that if you wanted to put the angelos in there uh, they've currently got the heritage cup which i think they could take over there as well but um Tony D's probably not the one that needs it, but when you look at Adriana Rizzo and Luca Crucifano as well, they need uh, a bit more TV time. They're still new to the block. They're new to the group. Uh, and I think coming over to TNA could actually do well of giving them a bit of life, a bit of chance as well to break out as stars and performers uh, as well, just to keep going with their characters as well. And I just think it will be a fun ride with the D'Angelo family there. It could be a loss to NXT, but they haven't necessarily got to go for a long time or they could still be a part of both shows as well but for me uh, the don as well would have an excuse to go straight to the top of the card and would i be against seeing the d'angelo family against the system no i would not i think that would be a fun time it's do you know what it's a good show it gives me very much vibes of how eddie kingston was on tna with conan and kind of like that whole mob mentality and i think like look, it was some really great stuff tna were putting out when they had uh, conan um, Santana Ortiz and Eddie Kingston on there doing their stories. So I, if they seem like a perfect replacement for what they were. So I like it's a great shout. And like you said, Tony and D'Angelo can finally get onto a, a, like a main event scene, become a world champion. Absolutely, he had to try and stand and deliver, but didn't quite work out. And I would argue didn't fully connect at that moment. I don't know if it was just the, the the timing, the show, the lack of build beforehand. Obviously, he'd been a tag team wrestler for a lot of the time, so maybe that was something to do with it. I'm not quite sure, but certainly, I think just just for a bit of a loan, a bit of a, a bit of a crossover, I think it could be a fun time. And like I say, uh, there's great people to work with along that side there. Obviously, Sammy Callahan would be a fun one to do. Uh, I think it'd be a great match to just see the psychotic side of me. Matt Cardona as well was someone that you know is always ready, but is he ready for the family? you know that's that's something you can have a bit of fun with as well uh there's just good stuff you could do right now with that roster over there but um that's our picks anyway of who we would cross over between nxt and tna and vice versa so it's now your turn in the comments below who would you do uh let us know right now if you've enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button share with a friend and subscribe as well and uh, if you want to know our nxt battleground predictions including uh jordan grace the tna knockouts world champion going for the nxt women's championship against roxanne perez then check the video on the side of your screen right now nxt thank you for being part of the video it's been great to have you on board dude always a pleasure it's always a pleasure indeed and having you on here as well and pleasure everyone's watching as well thank you look after yourselves and we'll see you for the next video take care